Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to do a full review of the Synology DS412 Plus NAS and I have been testing this NAS for almost 30 days. This is the NAS itself and this is an ideal NAS for small to be medium business organizations. So let's have a closer look at the same. And this is the Synology NAS, that's the DS412 Plus unit and this is a 4 bay unit. That means it can accept up to 4 hard drives and each hard drive can have a capacity of 4 terabytes so that you can have a total capacity of 16 terabytes with this unit and accessing the hard drives is also very easy this cover just comes out like this and this exposes all the four bays and you can just press this clip and take out the hard drive these are standard desktop hard drives nothing special so you can just easily mount it like this and the speciality of this NAS is that this uh, drives are hot swappable for example let's say this drive dies down and you just take out the drive put in a new drive and put it back and you're good to go so that's one feature and uh, let me put, put this back and here on the front we have a couple of uh, status LEDs the first one is for the status LED second is for the disc 1, disc 2, disc 3 and disc 4 and we also get a USB 2 port over here and this is the on off button and if we just move the unit to this side uh, you see the Synology logo over here do notice these are actually vents so cool air is sucked in and it is exhausted to, from the back from the fan to keep this unit cool and now let me move towards the back there are a lot of ports here first we have two fans and these are 92mm fans and I'm happy to say that the fans are very silent and the uh, one thing about this unit is that it is redundant that means if one fan fails the other will ramp up to keep the unit cool and we also get not one but two gigabit ethernet ports and you can do link aggregation if you want and you can also set it to redundancy for example let's say one port fails it will automatically switch to the second port so these are some of the business features and again here we uh, attach the adapter we also get one eSATA port and we also do get two USB 3 ports I have done an in-depth testing of the USB 3 ports on this so you can check out this video for more info regarding that and again if we move to this side we again have the Synology logo and uh, this is the front portion again as I have told you earlier uh, this is ideally meant for businesses or small office and that reflects in the pricing of this unit at the time of shooting this video, I checked up the pricing on Amazon uh, US and it was approximately about US $785 and in India this unit sells for approximately about 58,000 bucks and that is without any hard drive. So you need to populate your own hard drives. Again, don't think that this is just a simple small box. This is a pretty powerful unit. Inside this unit, it hoses a 2.13 GHz dual core Atom processor and it also has memory that is 1 GB that's DDR3 memory regarding the design I have no problems it was extremely quiet while testing for over a month the only con I have is that Synology has put this USB 2 port over here and both the USB 3 ports are, are at the back it would have been great if they would have just added a USB uh, 3 port at the front instead of this USB 2 port Another thing is that uh, you notice this plastic cover, you can just open this and all the hard drives are exposed. It would have been great if we had some kind of a locking mechanism for this plastic tray because this unit ultimately is going to be used in business and I would like to have some sort of a protection for the same. And now I have switched on the Synology NAS and that's donated by this blue LED light that will be glowing and also it will show state if everything is okay with the NAS in the status it will show as this green LED and also the number of drives that are active they will also glow for as of now only two drives have uh, populated that's why disk 1 and disk 2 are glowing now I'll show you the disk station software from which you can manage the entire NAS the one thing unique about Synology NAS is that uh, I like very much the web interface that is known as the disk station that is a class apart from other NAS though the hardware of Synology NAS is very good I would say this disk station software is a class apart and we use this to log in to our NAS interface and we just log in and this is the interface that we get we do get a lot of options and you can easily manage the NAS, entire NAS using just this interface I'm just going to click on this and let's first go to the control panel and here I'm going to show you the user account and using this you can create 
uh, users actually let us do that let's say name of the user is joe i'm just going to create it and we're going to give it a password also and here i can set it as just a user or an administrator and here synology nas gives us complete access control you can specify where this user has access for let's say i just want to give this uh, user the access to only the homes i can do that and i just hit next and we can also give quotas so i uh, feel that user management is very easy on this nas it gives you complete control and the Synology NAS offers us a lot of options. For example, let's say you do not want this user, uh, the FTP per uh, permission, just uncheck that. I don't want him, uh, this user network backup, so I just remove that. So you get complete control. It's very easy to manage. And I think that, that is very important if you're going to employ a NAS in a business environment. So user management is very good. Let's go back. Again, one more important aspect of a NAS is backups. And I'm happy to say that Synology offers backups for Windows as well as for Mac. It's very easy to set up. And you can also do time machine backups. I tested time machine backups with multiple Macs on this uh, NAS and it worked without any issues. It's very easy to do the same. You can watch this video. I have made a video about backup on Synology NAS to get a better idea of about the backup services. Now, let me close this. And another great thing about Synology NAS is that it, you can uh, expand the functionality of this NAS by using this package center. We have a lot of packages. For example, I've just installed this media server. That's a DLNA and an iTunes server. I also installed the surveillance station using which we can do complete surveillance. I'm going to make another video by using three uh, IP cameras and show you the surveillance. I've made already one uh, video on surveillance, so you can check out that for more idea. We also get a personal cloud using this cloud station. I've also made a video about that, so you can check that. We can also use this download station to download torrents, etc., directly to the NAS. Again, you just click on this available tab and you can easily install uh, the multitude of uh, modules that you would like. So expanding the functionality of this NAS is very easy. You're just not stuck to what it's there. And Synology continuously adds new modules. For example, let's say uh, I just want to use this photo station. That's a personal photo sharing site. I just install it. And now it's just going to install this on our NAS. So this way you can expand the functionality of this NAS. And we do get a lot of options as you can see. And we also have a full featured PHP client on this. So you can easily use this for PHP development also if you would like. And as you can see, this photo station has been installed. So that is the web interface. You can watch some of the other videos that I have created. They'll be in the show notes to get a better idea about this disk station. And another uh, important thing about a NAS is how fast it can copy files if the if if it cannot uh, copy files fast then it's a problem but the synology nas is very fast and i'm just going to connect it and i'm connected to the nas and this is our data and i'm just going to copy this archive.zip file from my hard drive and this is the nas and we're going to see how fast does it copy this is a 2.24 gb file and i just move it over here and i want to uh, you to look at this area because this shows in real time the data transfer and as you can see we are getting a data transfer of about 86 to 90 mb it is fluctuating a bit but again it does transfer very fast i transferred about uh, 40 gb of data to this nas and it did the transfer in about eight minutes so roughly you can transfer approximately about 5 GB per minute. And that is pretty fast, I would say. Uh, I do not have the hardware for link aggregation. And according to Synology, if we have a hardware for link aggregation that can use the both the network ports, we can get insane speeds of up to 180 MB per second. And also in my journal usage, I did not find any issues with this unit. Even when I loaded a lot of modules, and tried to overload this NAS with multiple file transfers, etc. It didn't have any problems and it was able to serve all the media without any issues. I also tested the media servers using the DLNA functionality and it was able to stream content without any issues to my WDTV, PS3 and the Xbox. So the DLNA and the iTunes functionality works great. 
Also, I tested torrents using the download station and they work beautifully. Also, I tested the photo station. As I mentioned, it also worked beautifully and uh, Synology added this cloud station functionality and that I have to say also it works beautifully and this model can support up to 32 uh, users for the cloud station. So that's pretty incredible. And I also tested the surveillance station module a lot because there was some construction work going in my house and I used uh, multiple IP cameras and entire surveillance was done using the Synology NAS. I'm going to make another detailed video regarding this, uh, the multitude of options that the surveillance station op offers. I think so that's an incredible product in itself. And uh, uh, regarding uh, the cons, this is not really a con, but I would say it's nitpicking because this unit is designed for business users, etc. And it's designed to run 24 by 7. But I found that uh, it takes a long time for the unit to start from a cold boot. It takes almost three minutes, which is quite long. And also I had set this uh, unit to go into hibernation mode if it was not being used for about 30 minutes and it did do, uh, do that but i felt that the time it took for, to come out from the hibernation was a little bit long it was approximately about 15 to 20 seconds so these are the two minor uh, issues that i have with this unit and overall i was very impressed with this uh, synology ds412 plus and i'm going to really miss this unit i hope uh, this uh, review helps that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video